Uh, welcome to uh, the Rutgers Day Cattle Show. Um, the Cattle Handling and Fitting course is a five-week course, so it began on March 22nd and ends today, April 24th. Um, in the course, the students have chosen an Angus yearling heifer to halter train, groom, clean, and prepare for showing in today's competition. The show is broken down into three classes with either five or four students per class. The judge will evaluate each, handling, um, each handler and heifer showing pair and place them in first through fifth place. Uh, the supervisors for the course this year who made it all possible are Leticia Grassa and Kayla Lewis. And our judge today is Patricia Zabresny. Um, so we'll get started with class one. So we have in class one, Cameron Hund and Pickles, Sierra Counts and Molly, Nyasia Frost and Desi, and in the next pen, Shania Thomas and Missy Elliott, and Safa Akhtar and Chia. Perfect, thank you. All right, I'll start with the front. All right. Sorry if I squeeze in here. Come here, little girl. Come here, girl. No, okay. This one's like, I'll move you. <laughs> Looks good. Hello, everyone. They're so well behaved. No, but I want to see your friend. There you go, good girl. <laughs> Alright, I'll look at her on the other side. Okay. 
should have taken the notepad. <laughs> Okay, so I'm ready for this group. Okay. Um, do you want me to do first or fifth, or fifth or first? <laughs> oh. uh, let's do fifth. Do okay, first. so in fifth place, I put this young heifer. Um, then I'll explain everything. In fourth place, number 140. In third place is 126 or 36 and then in second we have 139 and in first what's your number? 137. So um, with heifers with first of all great job you guys um, what it comes down to because they all look so similar and all you guys all did a great job is which one looks the most feminine at the end since it is a heifer um, if I can't choose really between the two so I look at their faces. Um, so number one and two were the most feminine in faces and also um, the least narrow in their back end. Um, and you want that for a heifer because you want her to have nice pin bones that'll be good for birth. Um, additionally, numbers one and two, you can see the muscling on a little bit better since this is a beef animal. You wanna see the muscling on it. Um, the brisket wasn't, um, didn't have a lot of fat deposits on it, uh, which you want to see on a beef animal. And also in third place, you did a great job grooming her. Um, she looks wonderful, she's shiny, um, she's clipped nicely. Uh, wonderful, clean tail. Um, they were all behaved beautifully. So you guys did a great job with that. Um, and I mean, that's the, that's the most of it. And, and then for over the two, the top two, uh, number one looked a little bit more feminine over number two. And that's what put one and two over the other, but great job, you guys. Good job. So in class two, we have four animals. Uh, first we have Melissa Acosta with Tina, Liani Kane with Elsie, Joshua Cruz with Linda, and Catherine Bartram with Ladybug. Wonderful. All right.
I know. All right, this one is fast, nice and easy. All right, so in first place, I'm gonna have number 144 for this group. In second place, 143. Actually, they're in a row. Third place, 142, and fourth, 141. Um, so what I looked at here, I don't know if you see the same thing, but the first place cow had a nice straight back. Um, so a great top line, nice straight back, which is good because she knows she's attributing her weight evenly. Her brisket also not a lot of fat deposits on it in the front, and she had a nice wide rump area. Um, this young heifer, she's just a little small compared to everybody else. Um, and overall, her, if you look at her brisket, a lot more fat deposit on it compared to the other heifers in this group. Um, and numbers three and four, very similar. Um, so I went back to, again, to femininity. Number uh, three looked a lot more feminine than number four on the face, and that's why I, how I set them aside. But again, very well behaved. You know, sometimes when you walk up to a heifer and try to touch her face, she backs off or, or you know, might, might get startled. But they all did great. They don't mind me touching them, which means you guys did a great job putting in your time um, to train them and work with them. So, great job, guys. Okay, so in class number three, we have Olivia Caspito with Sweetie, Mallory Brown with Celine, Julia Burrows with Roxy, and Sophia Berger with Chicken Noodle. Wonderful. All right, so I'll start on this end again. Or let me do the front first.
All right. They line themselves up in order again. <laughs> so in first place, I'm going to have 145. In second place, 146. In third, 147. And in fourth place, 148. Um, so again, all very well behaved, which is a testament to how much work you guys put in to them. Uh, but number one, she's groomed very well to show off her muscling um, and her brisket compared to the other three, uh, much less fat on it. She definitely is happy, you can tell. Um, and she was a little bit more um, wide ended instead of narrow, which is good for a heifer, you wanna see that. So, and she also has a nice straight back line compared to some of the other girls in this category. Here, um, did a great job also grooming. Um, her back end also looks really great. It's her top line that was a little bit more curved than number one. And the last two girls, or the second half, um, she looked a little bit chunkier than the rest of them, so her muscling wasn't able to show off as much. Um, and she looked a little bit more feminine on the, on the face than this young lady. But great job, again, preparing them for this. I can tell you guys worked hard and you have a good relationship with your heifers. So great job.